All right, hey there. Um, so this video is going to come out of left field a little bit. I don't know if anybody knew that I had uh, used to work on phone systems, but it was part of my job for quite a while. And uh, so what I'm going to go over is basically a, D a CDR detail script uh, that will basically send you an email with a CSV attachment of your phone records for the day's use. And again, this is set this is set up for a uh, for a uh, tricks box. This will work in PBX in a flash or any of the other uh, asterisk based systems, phone systems that are out there. Uh, and it's a real simple call script. Uh, it took me a while to figure it out. I, I pulled bits and pieces of this from different areas. Um, but basically, you know, you've got uh, this is your email message right here. Okay, it's echoing out this message. And actually, we don't, we don't need that. Uh, parentheses there. Um, so basically that's sending out it. That's echoing the email. I'll bring this down to another line. And this begins your actual script that's going to be attached to a cron job uh, every day. Okay, so whenever whatever time you want to see it. You know, I usually I usually set it at 6 a.m. because if I want to, if I get in at 7, I wanted all of my phone systems records to be there. So I had, uh, I had everything in my email before I started. All right, so your script is going to be basically MySQL, which calls the, uh, which means that you're going to establish a MySQL connection. Dash U is the user, so we're going to use the root MySQL user. Dash P is the password, and at this one, this, at this particular one, I'm just going to give you, I just use this virtual tricks box. Um, you would want a secure complex password, but for the purposes of the script, I thought it best to just leave it simple. Uh, and I obviously don't use anything like that in my passwords. Uh, asterisk CDRDB is the call database record. Call record database, sorry. <laughs> uh, and we're going to be selecting all from the CDR table. Uh, call detail record table where the date, a parentheses call date, which is basically going to get the current date uh, equals date add current date interval minus one day. So basically what this is doing is going back one day and then sending it. Uh, actually, before it sends it, it's going to uh, encode it into a CDR, uh, into a CSV, excuse me. Um, so basically, it's going to be, it's going to uh, compress and encode it to a CSV file, and then the next step is going to be mailing it to whatever your recipient email address here, and then your asterisk email address here. Um, uh, just a, a quick note, if you don't have your asterisk set up on an actual fully qualified domain name uh, and it sends out with just the, the default user, which is like something like asterisk at localhost, um, a lot of times that's just going to get thrown right in the junk bin. Uh, I always used to set up the phone systems on a fully qualified domain name to, to avoid that. Okay. So, but that's really the gist of the script itself. And uh, it's really convenient, you know, especially if you have a big system where you're, you know, where owner's management are going to want to see what's going on in the phone system, you know, whether calls are getting dropped or whether calls are getting, you know, how much time an employee is spending on a personal call. Uh, once it's in a CSV, you can completely filter and, and, you know, pick apart the whole database's worth of calls. You can also set this to a weekly, you know, just by changing the uh, interval minus one or interval minus seven. Uh, that'll give you a week. Um, most of the places I talked to wanted to have each day's and then they can add them together, whichever, however they, however they wanted. Okay, so this is uh, that's about it. I'm gonna actually, I forgot about this script, but I'll actually go ahead and upload it to my uh, to my site, so it'll be available at portcitytechnology.com/email_cdr_script.txt. All right, and so basically you can, you know, you're just gonna enter this into your uh, bash to uh, to save it as bash script and then add it to a cron job. All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching.